Hello, I'm Nick Williams. I wanted just to take a couple of minutes to tell you about what I'm going to be doing uh, in my trip up to Liverpool. I'm really looking forward to coming because I know uh, Liverpool is such an inspiring place. It's had such a big impact on the world as a city already and its people have. So I want to be inspired by Liverpool, but I also want to share some of my own thoughts on inspiration with you. Um, I think amazing things happen when we become truly inspired. I think when we are truly inspired, we're connected to our deepest self, if you like, our soul or our essence. And I think inspiration is what also kind of guides us to our sense of, if you like, purpose or vocation or calling in the world. Uh, when we're inspired, I think we begin to unwrap ourselves. So I'm just fascinated by what happens when we allow ourselves to be truly inspired. So that's what I'm going to be talking about. And the evening talk, I'm going to be talking about, if you like, the anatomy of inspiration, because I don't think most of us really understand what inspiration is and how it operates and how we can consciously, if you like, align ourselves with it. But I think inspiration is an invitation to grow, to evolve, to become, in a way, who we already are in essence, but we haven't yet become, if you like. So it's an invitation to grow into our truest potential. I also think when we follow our inspiration, we're going to hit what I call resistance. You know, we're going to hit our fears, we're going to hit our insecurities, we're going to hit our doubts. So I'm also going to be talking about how do we find the courage and what strategies can we use to get past our fears and our resistance so that we can show up in the world, A, and B, who we truly are, and B, make a difference, you know, because I truly believe that when each of us shows up as our truly inspired self, that the world benefits from that, that we'll inspire each other as we do it. So that's what I'm going to be talking about during the evening talk. And then on the lunchtime event, uh, we're going to be taking a deeper dive into the whole idea of how do you inspire other people when you're inspired? Because I, th I think it's impossible to inspire other people without being inspired yourself. So we're going to look at how do you take your sense of, in, in, your sense of inspiration and use it to positively influence the world that you care about around you? How do you make a difference? How do you impact when you don't have a position of power? Because I think many of us can often feel a bit powerless going, well, I don't have a position of power. What difference can I make? And yet I'm increasingly convinced of the idea that, if you like, we're the ones we've been waiting for, that each of us is capable of amazing things, that most of us have, have only unwrapped a little bit of our own potential. And then we have, when we have the courage to show up and be more of ourselves in the world, the impact that we can have on each other is beautiful and phenomenal and, you know, heart-opening. So on the Friday, we're going to be looking at how do you step into your inspirational leadership to a, another step, if you like, or another chapter of it. Um, so I'm going to be talking a bit, getting you to do some exercises, meet uh, each other and um, do what I call, you know, inquiry, self-inquiry. I'm going to pose you some questions and just get you to start thinking about them and how uh, they, uh, what they mean to you in your life and how you can grow and move forward and lead more in your own life. So if that sounds interesting to you, I would love to see you at one or both of the events when I'm up in Liverpool. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I wish you well and uh, hopefully see you in Liverpool. Bye-bye.